Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading in the colony section yet again for another Particle Fleet map. That's right, we are going for Particle Fleet Episode 6. Uh, there is a 6.5 as well. Uh, with a new game plan, the team moves out to higher risk but higher reward corporate locations. Uh, going to be real, when making this map, there were quite a few times I forgot this was Creeper World 4. I am definitely finding myself in a very in the very realm of creativity I have always wished to be in. Hope you enjoy it. It is incredible. Again, truly, truly. I have looked at the start of this and just tried to wrap my head around what's going on, and it is mind-blowing to me. Um, hey, Virtu here. Not the Empire meme, but... Uh, but me, who is also called Virtu, the creator of the series and many heavily modded missions. Um, so this is Virtu uh, saying hi. This is a much larger area. Um, incredible. Uh, it's much larger than uh, Creeper World 4 allows, and yet it is still doable and possible. And this will go over the keys and things like that, which is what I was uh, looking for and things like that. Um, so we have that. And what basically that means... Oh, we have, we have a lot of lore. First, a lot of lore. Uh, Admiral, I, I'm the only, uh, uh, I only thought megastructures were just an engineering theory, something only a post-scarcity society will ever create with their limited resources, with their limited list resources. Surely the Virtue Menace doesn't have unlimited resources already. Uh, wow, Cooper, can you confirm this is indeed Yadafar? Jadafar. Still, I don't know if it's a hard or soft J, so... I mean, it could be Jadafar, Yadafar, Jadafar. I, I like Yadafar, though. Um, not that I suspect Virtue transformed the entire planet and replaced it with this. Information on Odin confirms. This is Yadafar. So much for a gas giant. Corporate military was too busy defeating, uh, uh, defending the front lines during their non-stop retreat to find out what happens to the conquered territories. We could have never imagined this. I am rather concerned how they stripped it of its atmosphere. It, uh, and so quickly. You know, this thing that makes a gas giant a gas giant? What could Virtue possibly use so much hydrogen for? Specul or speculating about Yadafar is not going to help us here today. What is the status of the area? You're not going to like this, Admiral, but we have encountered a Virtue frontline shipyard. Otherwise, we have barrier totems. Uh, we have barrier totems. Some seem to have uh, their shields off peculiar uh and our lovely particle friends okay so we a shipyard oh look at that oh produce oh we're flying around oh look at that oh no 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 admiral we have a virtue frigate in the area permission for panic mode for 10 seconds permission granted ah, 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 ah. we're going to die Bing. i feel so much better now same here Admiral, your orders. Shall we can change? Uh, shall we change plans? No. Roger that, sir. What? Oh, damn! Room service. Uh, it is guarding the comms. Node. One of the few things that corporate knows about from Virtue is that frigates near the radar-like structures won't venture away from it. The most stubborn of guards. Give it space, and it'll leave us alone. How can you be so certain? How do you know this? This is Virtue we are talking about. Why won't they just blast us on sight, regardless of being a guard? A Black Ops mission. I can only tell you that much. And it was very clear. Alright, avoid the Doom Frigate. Should be easy enough. Oh my holy ma! Cooper, you sinner. Language, Cooper. You know how things are with these old uh, slurs. I am detecting the FDL signals of three frigates inbound to our position. Permission to engage panic mode for five seconds. Granted. Ah, 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 hack, 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 hack. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. We're gonna die, you fool. Okay. Good news, we have 30 minutes, okay, we have 30 minutes based on Odin's systems. That's a reasonable time. Anyway, if I'm not mistaken, we are detecting info caches housing potential ship licenses. Correct, though for whatever reason, we are not detecting them on scanners directly. Going to have to see them the old fashioned way, using detection systems. All right, better to keep an eye out. Once we have all the easily accessible info caches, we get out before the frigate squad shows up. Uh, get ready for void combat. Dismissed. It's action time. So, what everything at the beginning was. This is our map. Is this square red uh, system, right? And as you can see in this, there's uh, some particles down. There's a particle emitter down here. This is, I believe, that info cache uh, with the frigate or comms node and the frigate. 
Uh, there's an energy source over here. There is a particle emitter with multiple energy sources. So I definitely want to be in this area. Plus, there is an info cache. Definitely want that. Uh, I think there's at least more. Is there another info cache? Uh, this map is like monstrously big. Oop, down here. There we go. So there's another info cache down here with another particle emitter. Um, so we have a couple of those, a couple of those, which is good, good, good. And then we have our shipyard over here. So we definitely want to, uh, I mean, we, we have to destroy all the enemies and we have 30 minutes. So <laughs> I, I think we can do it in 30 minutes, but watch this, right? This is our playable map. Ooh, uh, ooh, it moves the map that we are playing in moves. That is the entire thing. It is super, super cool. It moves up, down, left, right. And if we were uh, looking at this in uh, Z perspective, it also ascends and descends as well. So we have full control over our playable space thanks to custom keys and the work that Virtu has done. Mind blowing. I mean, basically it can it can make maps that are incredibly large. So uh, yeah, super super cool, super super wild, uh, and I think this is incredible. I, I've no, I mean. Very, very, very impressive. Uh, ooh, why am I no longer moving? Anything. What just happened? Did I click something? Uh oh. Nope, nope. There we go. Alright, we want to be here. I want to boo me down. There we go. That's what I want. I wanted to move down. So, our goal right now is I think I want this particle emitter as soon as possible because there's a lot of power nodes. And as we can see, Two there, four over here. I think this is a good place where we can build up our fleet because we're going to have power notes. Plus, I hope, beyond hope, beyond hope, that's another ship. So I would love another ship and I would love to get this. Now, I think, I think the Odin just dropping in, you know, out of FTL right in front of this thing is going to be able to handle it. I, I'm, I'm kind of hoping. So let's just see what happens. It would be super, super cool if that is the case. We're already involved, and yeah, yeah, they have an energy collector right there. Uh, but yeah, look at this. This particle emitter, you're not doing nothing. We got an Odin involved, and yeah, I think I think we kind of just got the jump on them. So super cool for us. Really like uh, how that is. Uh, I'm sure Virtu might yell at me and say, "Just oh no, oh no, no." <laughs> Maybe I was a little too close to that. Uh, how is our Odin health doing? Oh, our, our Odin health is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I uh, think we escaped the frigate, though. Woo! Taking a little bit of damage, but nothing we can handle right there. There goes the particle emitter, and we already have some of these bad boys being built, which is awesome. So let's get some energy that we need. Uh, bazinga. And we can we can start building, getting the other energy, getting our ships built. Yeah, you get out of here. Get out of here. All right, so there we go. So I'm gonna pause it again, take a look at this. I think I'm gonna I want to be a little bit higher, like on plane with this. And I'm gonna toss down I don't know my two destroyers, right? Let them chill over here for a little bit. They should be well within the energy range of both of these. So I kind of hope. This builds up pretty quick, two of our fleet. And then we'll try and build the rest off of here. So let's get things going. Uh, looks like energy is already flying over. How? F uh, it's not necessarily the fastest, per se. But you know what? It is what it is. It is what's necessary. Let's try and get some of our energy over here, of course, as well. So hopefully, I think these will just provide power to things being built uh, just naturally. So that's kind of the goal as well, is even though we leave to build this next area up, uh, we will be able to uh, handle things. So I think we're going to need to go a little bit higher. Build some of these up. And there we go. I think we're going to get our info cache. Glorious, glorious days. Bazinga. Info cache coming in. Maybe. There we go. Uh, ooh. C. Uh, ooh. Interesting. Looks like maybe some code... Uh, we have the circle equals T. Oh my, oh my. And then some form of equation. So T equals all of this. Oh my. So much, so much to do. Unfortunately, I can't read that. Um, right then. Guess we found uh, 
A Vertu info cache. I think we can conclude the barrier totems are of Vertu origin based on this. How unhelpful. If Oleana was still around, uh, she would have come onto the Odin during its construction. She would have been able to translate this with her experience of the Nexus region. Uh, ooh, we might, we're probably going to lose that. Oh, wait, no, that's not health. That's just a little beep. Uh, how are these doing? Eh, it's, not, it's taking their time. It's taking their time. But that being said, we have another node here. So what we're going to do is go up a little bit. So we're like as high as possible. We're going to toss down our lady boy. Uh, hopefully in range of this one at a minimum. And I'll probably be in range of that one. And I'm going to put the Yovin over here. So the goal will be uh, we're going to build these four up. The Lathe and the Yovin should get uh, some power from these. And then I need to go back down because we need to build with our Lathe. And our Lathe has to be under it. So, so far so good, I think. Uh, I'm very happy with these barriers. Theoretically, I guess I should have... Uh, left this area, or left the building to in the side of the shields. Are these not getting power anymore? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I have to be near it. That might be the case. Cause, yeah, because this lathe is, like, super building. Whereas these are just not, right? So let's, uh, let's, let's just destroy these. We'll build them inside super building zone. Uh, as we can see, uh, it's looking a lot better. So let's see, place just a destroyer there. Maybe that will, maybe will that will do what we want it to do. Uh, ooh, it's a little bit further down, but you know what? That's okay. Uh, let's raise it up just for a second. Toss our destroyer like there. Bring it back down, and hopefully, hopefully we just build everything right quick like this with all of the power coming in from all of these nodes. Uh, a little out of range of that one, but this one, yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty good with the rest of them. So, looks like the power is, you know, we're stop. Ooh, that lathe is almost done already. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One down, that's what we want to see. Next on the list. Who's next? Is it, it's probably going to be the Yovan. Or Joven. And the destroyers. Them, ooh, this destroyer. You know, that destroyer is a little low. I'm gonna I'm gonna raise it up like before. So raise everything up to the top, toss it so it's in as many uh, energy fields as possible, and then bring it back down so our ships are below it a little bit. I think that should help. Yeah, that's already up to 22 versus like the 30 it was at before. <laughs> like that is getting way more power. Uh, the Yovan almost completed already. Glorious, love it, love it, love it. Uh, we only have one more item to collect, which might be another ship, so I'm definitely looking forward to that as well. Uh, and honestly, once we once we're good, I might just go on the assault because I think, I mean, that's a particle every second. That's a particle every five seconds. I mean, if we have our full fleet, I mean, I think we're going to be in a pretty good spot. So we shall have to see, but we need our fleet to be completed, of course. So get your butt done, everybody. Oh, you can't be done soon enough. I think the Yovan was completed. Glory days, glory days. That's what we want to see. This has taken some damage? Really? You've been here for like 10 seconds. Oh no. Particle, no. I'm assuming we probably... Ooh, we didn't even lose these yet. Glorious. So, let's just finish these up. Oh. Admiral, my friend shipyard has begun fab ship fabrication. All right, uh, time for things to heat up. Remember, team, although stealth in space is hard, Virtu is the next best thing. Uh, Virtu has the next best thing. So you know, we will only detect their ships when they get close, then obtain a lock on their position when they get closer, and then have a visual contact on them coming within spitting distance. Okay, so they are now constructing. Uh, we are almost done constructing four ships, though. So I hope our four ships can take them out. Uh... I don't know. We're almost done. These destroyers are looking pretty good, if you ask me. And then, yeah, we're going on the assault. The assailing assault times. Let's just uh, plug this up. Get these done, done, done. Nice little energy shipyard. Uh, that one. This one is almost done. Fantastic. All that will be left. They're both almost done. Glorious. We've done it. 
we have our ship armada completed now there we go <laughs> now they are done okay perfect 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 and now we need to plan our assault so step one we have an energy node right there we could go for like the info cache in case it has another ship uh but that's almost like past it right i mean if we can just go for it i mean if we can take out their shipyard let's let's take out their shipyard right i, don't know. I mean i don't know maybe that's a little too aggressive because there is another ship on the map so i'll just have to wait and see but you know if there's a shipyard to be assaulted let's 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 just do it right uh, let's move everything. I need to move the lathe as well, but I believe if I select the lathe here, it will select it there. So let's move the lathe on. Oop! Uh, well, we are detecting large, seemingly stationary structure, probably a defensive platform. Now, they won't move, so it will be worth the while to remember their position. Platforms typically have better weaponry systems, so they don't have to worry about recoil uh, or management of, or, uh, m uh, management of motion. All right, so where are oh, doo -doo -doo. where are these stationary platforms? Uh, did not zoom me in anywhere, so don't necessarily see any yet. Maybe they're maybe they're gonna be here soon. Uh, but let's wait for our ships to move a little bit. Oh wait, no, what's that pur purple dot? Oop, it's bouncing around. Uh, there's a purple dot doing something. Interesting. The purple dot of dance. Alright, alright. Uh, I think we probably... Right, not everyone has gotten to position... Ooh, another message. Uh, Admiral, small Virtu signature detected and is most certainly moving to engage. We are about to have a proper second contact with Virtu. It's showtime. This is our first real engagement with Virtu ships. Let's show them that the Odin made to fight Virtu. Okay, so ship is incoming uh, to our group, uh, Bazinga, which is most fantastic. And one thing that is amazing with this is if I just move the map like this, all the ship's positions actually stay the same. So I can actually keep a formation just... Ooh, there's the ship. There's the ship. Oh, there, it's a coming. But we're coming for them too. Let's keep it moving. How is this going? Yeah, look at that. You got nothing, little ship. Get in our map. We're coming for you just by moving the map. Buzz. Oh, we destroyed that ship. That is everything that I wanted to see it more. Uh, let's move down as well and move over to this energy source. I think that is next on the hit list. Is that going to be too low? No, that is not low enough. We have to go all the way down for that energy source. And then I think we can just bring it up like this. And yeah, we should be able to, to snag this energy source, get a nice little frontline energy on our side. Oop, Yovan, you are so fast. Yovan is so fast in comparison to everything else. Holy moly. Uh, even the Yovan, I mean, the Yovan is just really... Oh no! They have uh, another thing. They have two other things. Okay, so these must be the stationary. So maybe they were hidden... But now that I'm closer, I can see them. That's why it was like a little particle dancing around. And they're supposed to be very tough. Okay, so that kind of changes the plan. Uh, I think we may be going to get our ship. <laughs> Hopefully a ship. Um, so let's head on up here instead. Uh, crew. Uh, we, are, we are on the long stretch to the northern reaches. Uh, Yovin, you are going to be too fast for everybody. I, one thing I will say, if there is a possibility, uh, I, I don't know if there's sort of a match speed option where it's like, hey, if you're in a if you're in a squad, travel at the slowest speed, so like the Yovin doesn't just hightail it out of there, or if there's sort of a uh, I could select the Yovan and select, say, the Odin and be like, follow this unit. Um, again, we're in Creeper World 4, so I'm not saying this is even possible. Um, but I think that would actually, uh, that would just be, that'd be a nicety. Um, not the end of the world, of course. Um, but as we can see, like, we have two ships getting away, three ships lagging behind a little bit. 
and we just have to hope and pray that everyone is okay. Uh, we can probably move up our speed just a little bit, except we will keep, again, we want to keep the Yovin with the other ships. I don't want anything to get too isolated. Not super worried about the destroyers, uh, the lathe to a lesser degree, but it's also the cheapest to rebuild. So I'm not really worried about that. Just want to make sure we get that. So we have five enemies left to destroy, one of which is here. I guess we're going to want to destroy this top right enemy uh, just to, I mean, we have to. Uh, I was planning on just going for the base, though. Ooh. But, I mean, either way, we're going to have to either destroy that or that. Although it does seem like this is getting more reinforced as time goes on. It'll be building more ships. Um, oh, yeah, see the uh, structures? They're just uh, pink dots again. So they are a detection range thing. So that's super cool. So it is definitely a detection range. Awesome. That is awesome because we lost. We got out of range. We lost them again. Um, definitely, definitely love that. And again, we can just move our map. And I guess we want to be moving it to this way. Let's just bring everything there. Keep things nice and low. I didn't realize that the little uh, indicator has a N. Uh, oh, does, is that an N? I mean, I see the lines. I thought they were actually like N for north, but that's uh, one, two, three, and four. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Maybe I moved a little too low, but that's perfectly fine. Let's reassess our uh, placements. Let's go here, yeah, yeah. Let's get our lathe a little bit further up. Our destroyers a little bit further up, and that away. And yeah, let's uh, let's raise it up. Three-dimensional space is amazing, especially in this regard. Build that up to there we go. And I guess all we need to do is just move our entire crew to the uh, to the west. Again, I really I really like that the, it just keeps their position because um, I know where the two destroyers are going to go. I know where my Odin's going to go. I know where my lathe is going to go. I'm probably assaulting a little farther th ahead than I need to, but you know, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, and then we're going to get ourselves whatever's over there. Uh, and there is a power node over here, which I'm hoping... I'm hoping it's a ship. I'm hoping it can deal with things. And I hope we're going to you know, do all the good stuff. Alright, pirates. Ooh, did I lose a, uh, a ship? No, I did not. No, I did not. And we are relathing up, which is most fantastic. Get that energy for ourselves. Bazinga. And then we'll just move, again, just move the map on over. There we go. Whoa. Oh, because the shields are, like, coming into existence as we... Wow, that's wild. That is... <laughs> I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look, but that looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely a fan of that. Uh, let's raise it up because we want this energy. And I think we were too low. Come on. There we go. Lay that up. And I think I just want the Odin to move on in. So, Odin, just you. Let everybody else do the things. Let's pick up whatever this is. Uh, oh, we're building it. Get out of there. I don't want you hitting any of that uh, destructive uh, just debris. Debris. Okay, objective obtained. We have obtained an objective. What is this? Admiral, I have good news. That info cache had the uh, schematic license for a cruiser. Ooh, a cruiser. 500 energy. Holy moly. I wish I was on the other side with, like, the 300 uh, energy nodes. Uh, but you know what? We're over here now. Let's start building a cruiser. What is a cruiser? Oh, very, very cool. 
This is excellent. It'll be sure to need heavier ships for in corporate, especially if we continue to pro for areas like this. Glorious. Awesome. Okay, so our cruiser can now start to get built, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, ooh. You are pretty low on energy, sir. What is going on? And is this thing not juicing us up? What is going on? Okay, there we go. Juice coming on. Uh, the cruiser... Not really getting power. It's definitely in... In the zone. Right, let's take all of our ships. Oh, even the... The Yovan is out of ammo, too. Everything's out of ammo. Why is everything out of ammo? We're in a... We're in a... Oh, we're in a power node field, right? I mean, well, now I need to, to raise it up, I guess. So this is as high as we can go. We're all in the field. And yeah, uh, Yovan, please stop. Like, I want you in the field, but I don't want you to waste all your ammo. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. Right. Let's get a destroyer here. Let's move out with our slow ships first. So, destroyer. Uh, destroyer, destroyer. And the lathe. Oh, if I... Okay. I actually have to physically click it in order to bring up the the element. If I hit the 2 button, uh, it doesn't actually bring it up. It will uh, keep things down. Now, this cruiser is building exceptionally slowly. Again, I don't see any... Focus on... On? Focus on that? Uh... Do I have to just destroy you and rebuild you? I mean, worst case scenario, I might be tempted to just go back over here and build it. Uh, where is it? It should be over, over here, right? Uh, but I don't know if we can actually build stuff like... Yeah, I can't actually place outside of the map, so I'd have to bring the map over, place it down, hopefully it builds... That is going to be quite the undertaking. Uh, okay, so we've rebuilt this collector. Are you are you powering things? Okay, that looks to be going much faster, and I see little dots flowing. So uh, we did do what we needed to do there, which is good. I'm lowering things down for this crew to build this energy collector to use this to hopefully resupply. Uh, it's a little bit lower. There we go. Oh, we even have an enemy ship again. Oh, no, oh, no. All right, energy collector. Do your thing. Yes. Okay, I see the little uh, energy dots flying out. Hopefully, this will give us all the energy that we need. Also, hopefully, repair. Uh, over here. Our ship is coming along much, much quicker. Yay! Building. So. Much nicer. Although the Yovan is barely able to get any energy. But you know what? The Yovan might be barely getting energy. But that's still more than none. So I will take it. Now uh, let's... Oh no. It destroyed the energy source. We need that. Uh... Okay, we'll raise them up a little bit, be able to defend the energy source better, being much more on its level, so to speak. Is this going up? It is. <laughs> Odin, you're, you're doing fine. Uh, Cruiser, you're doing fine. Uh, you can join the crew, and then, yeah, hopefully with this cruiser we shall have a new uh, unit. Which can be pretty amazing, I hope. Oh. The Odin really, really likes to destroy the, uh... <coughs> everything else. Or the... 
the little bits and bobs. Uh, energy, yep, energy is still flying down. Which is good. 95, <coughs> which is good. Uh, Yovin still using all of its shots, which is bad. I, I just, I w honestly am shocked that this node isn't enough to, like, charge it up again. Uh, well, that is one thing. It's like, I, I understand it's fire and missiles pretty good. I mean, now it's finally going for it. Maybe it was just filling everything up, or, but it looks like the Yovin really goes through ammo, and getting that thing back is actually, actually really difficult. And it, uh, missiles off? I guess. I guess just turn it off for a bit, right? Uh, feels a little bad. Yeah, okay, that's working a lot better, though. I'll just have to remember to turn missiles back on when we actually do our assaults. Uh, without a doubt, we have cannons, we have missiles on the cruiser, which is good. Okay, so that'll be good for anti-ship things. There we go, the oven. You're now looking pretty good, because I want... I was planning on sending this little squad to... Uh, this particle up here uh, but I don't think I'm gonna do that now because we still need to destroy this we have all of our ships down here it's gonna take a long time to do that flight so let's just get everything together our cruiser is almost there uh, health wise we're looking pretty good uh, this bad boy is, eh, that destroyer is not looking that good <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's all we can do. It's all we can do. We just have to. We just have to try. Uh, they take just a while to build, and I do think the Odin is helping. And I think we need this for the assault. So uh, it is here. It is a new ship. I'm assuming it's going to be good. Let's fill it with ammo. It has 32 health, which is actually our healthiest ship. Uh, we can see how fast it is as well. It's not the fastest boy. Not the fastest lad. Uh, let's start with the lathe. You can go on over here. The Yovin, you can be slightly behind as well. And I guess we're going to turn your missiles on as well. And last but not least, we have our Odin. And we have our two destroyers. Destroyer. Destroyer. Uh, I guess I should spread out a little bit more. So maybe like the lathe slightly off to this side. Uh, the Odin can be slightly off to that side. Although the Odin is how we're going to be getting power. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Are, are they just using all their freaking missiles down here? Like, please stop. <laughs> uh, please, please, please stop. Because we now are finally going for our assault, right? If we're going for an assault... Let's start with. Oh, that's a sevener. Yeah, let's 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 take them from the back. God, Yovin. Yovin is so fast. The Yovin is so very, very fast. And everything else is slow. Oh wow, the cruiser's taking a little bit of damage too. Alright. Uh, Odin, get your butt up there. Build this bad boy. And then we have a shipyard to take. And then sadly we have to traverse the entire map. <laughs> Particles there. We have stationary object there. Thought there were two, but maybe we can't sniff out the other one because we're still too far away. Interesting. So much planning. <laughs> Just because I'm scared of what they can do. 
where are we going? We are going this way as a unit to the next power source. And this is as far over as we can go. This is also in range, so once we establish this, I think we're just going to start our assault uh, without moving the map any further. So, very good for us. Let's bring it down a little bit so we can destroy this and leave it up. Oop, there is, there is another structure. Okay, so we do have that structure there. Okay, so like destroy on one side, destroy on another side, cruiser, cruising in the middle, uh, the Yovin will be a little more to the right, and I guess the lathe will be far to the right, and we'll try and sweep around to lathe that. Ships getting into position. Feeling pretty okay about that. And let's see, I mean, I guess we have to destroy those structures. We want to destroy this uh, particle every second. So that's the that's the big particle, right? So I kind of want to make sure we get that. So that. What's going to be in range? Lathe to there. Odin to there. All right, that should definitely be in range. We'll drop it down just a wee little bit. Uh, we'll have the destroyer be slightly off to the left. The destroyer be slightly off to the left. The cruiser, I don't know. I mean, I know I can go to the wiki and stuff like that. I'm just not doing that in uh, in game because we are doing a recording. But let's just see what happens. Uh, Yovan, still too fast for everybody, so we'll uh, hold off, but we do want the Yovan to obviously move forward. So we're slightly spread out. Our goal is to get this emitter right here. Okay, so this is getting shot from the stationary target. Uh, quite well. Quite well. Holy moly. But our lathing is happening, and that's the important thing, right? The important thing is we may lose a ship, but we're double lathing now. Perfect. That's everything I want. So this guy is literally right here just to take the hits, so nobody else has to. Uh, cruiser, same thing with you. Take the hits so the lathes can do their job. Take out the emitter. Uh, cut down on the particles we have to deal with. Okay. One particle emission point down. Now we may have to maybe do a retreat, but I am kind of curious. If we were to start shift, uh, let's get the lathe in as well. Can we get, like, this thing? Now this thing looks very, very low. So we'll, ooh, we also have debris from our own ships. Can we not destroy this? Or are we destroying this? I don't know. How is the Odin holding up? Still good. Oh, we actually are taking their uh, energy. Okay, I think I think we got one of the the structures. Amazing. Oh, that's so good. Uh, they got another one of our ships, though, <laughs> which is bad. Uh, but you know what? I'm actually feeling really, really good now because, I mean, getting a few of their structures is huge, right? Um, 
I would much rather be lathing this. Yes. Like that. Cruiser, you're doing great. Just saying. Wait, is that the... Oh, that's the shipyard. Oh, cruiser, you're, you're you're just literally single-handedly taking out the ship here. You might die, cruiser, but you did it. You took out the shipyard, cruiser. You're amazing. Get out of here. Just run away, cruiser. No. Oh, we lost the cruiser. We lost basically everything, uh, but the lathe and the Odin. And you know what? That was such a mission success moment. I am super happy for that. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> it took everything we had. But you know what? That was a very, very successful assault. All that's left now is to uh, snag this one particle, which is a 0.67. Uh, one every 0.67. So it's relatively relatively good one um, but I think just the Odin and the lathe can handle it to be honest with you uh, so I'm just gonna say you two get your butts over there and we're just gonna fly uh, do, 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 something like this just bring it all the way over and yeah we'll we'll get going what is this I don't know what that is um, but there we go yeah that was such a success you two are my heroes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. When you go top down, it gives you, like, the actual Creeper World space background. <laughs> That's pretty wild. <laughs> That's actually the first time I went top down so far, I think, in that regard. So, unfortunately, we couldn't hold, like, a power node or anything. You know, I mean, I guess this area... Oh, that's an energy collector now. I was going to say, if these were ours, I mean, we could try and build something up, but they're not ours. So, that works. That's fine. Just a little flight away. We're getting closer to the edge. Alright. Only even adjust because I think I think we're good here. So now I guess what I need to do is readjust my position so I'm looking at it from the right angle. There we go. And then uh, we. Oop. There we go. Move it along. Boop boo, moving all over. Again, it's blows my mind all of this. Uh, let's get our power node with our two lovely units, and I guess we're probably gonna be way too high. There we go. So let's bazinga to below. That'll be able to lay them up, get us three power, and hopefully that'll be good. <laughs> I mean, I could watch. It makes sense. You're doing it, Lathe. You're doing it.
I'm a lathe. The lathe cometh. And then all that is left is one particle remaining. You know what? Let's tr let's try and get a a yoke. Nah, let's get let's a destroyer. I think is the second cheapest. So let's just flap a destroyer there. See if uh, that gets built at all. I mean, it's getting built from the power, so the key is I'm waiting for the lathe a little bit. Although I guess I really don't have to. Really. We can just keep inching our our main boy along, uh, and that will just get power naturally. So, oh no! Uh, woo, okay. I was afraid that that. Uh... Oh, why are you coming over here? <laughs> I'm not near your little command thing. Leave me be. Leave me be. Oh yeah, that's just getting built up. So that'll be nice. We'll get a destroyer eventually. Oh, jeez. All we need is the Odin. The Odin's got this lathe in a way. And I think this will be the map. Oop, get out of there. No! Boop. My friend died there. The lathe literally was just so slow, it did nothing. <laughs> Woo! Objective tamed. All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's get out of here. There's a great certainty uh, that with Virtue taking up residence around they most certainly abducted the R&D city's uh, contents or into the station. With active frigates incoming, we can't launch a raid and try to obtain the data from the destroyed cities within. Guess while we're on our mission, we can try to figure out why Virtu abducted the uh, comparatively primitive technology from of other civilizations. I wonder, I, I would be shocked if I was, if it was to ensure people like us can't reclaim it. Uh, the helm is set with the course right away, Capitan. Oh no. Uh, I'm, I'm just doing a little test see. Because uh, that's a frigate. It has shields. I want to see how fast this kills us. <laughs> or, not even how fast it kills us, but can we, like, kite it, right? So, maybe we'll toss down a Yovan as well over here. Oh, no, don't get close. Guess we are not cool. Oh, no, it's coming for us. Oh, it's super coming for us. All right. We're holding our own pretty well. I mean, honestly, our health is... Oh, no. It destroyed our... <laughs> it destroyed our Rift Lab. Okay, I was like, the Odin's doing fine, but I guess it just destroys the Rift Lab itself. There we go. Ooh, 1354, look at that. I beat Virtue's time. Oh, I did it. I did it, Ma. I did it, Virtue. Are you proud of me? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Although, I'm sure, and Virtue beat me to the objects. Okay. All right. All right, Virtue. You win this round, but I won this one. Uh, but this has been CWFP, or CW4PFB A006 Situation Update. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. It's mind-boggling, like mind-blowing how this works. So super kudos to Virtue, 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 um, the Virtuous Virtue. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining and take care. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe.